the archetypes that I draw on really in all times is related to resilient systems, related to how I think about the city. And there are four major archetypes or roles. The first one is how are we conformity enforcers? How do we do what everybody else is doing? The second one is how are we diversity generators? That is, how do we create and innovate in the world, find new ways of doing things? The third way is the resource allocator. How do I actually know what my resources are and how do I allocate them in my life? And the fourth one is an inner judge. How am I integrating everything that I can see that needs to be done, that needs to be created, that needs to be resourced and allocated. So those four archetypal roles really help me to decide day to day and also in a big picture how to practice my calling and even how to bring lenses and filters to see the rest of the world. So those are the four archetypes that I'm using. Beautiful. Can you share a little bit maybe on how we can develop those archetypes? The archetypes seem to be natural to all systems, not just human systems. So I think about the city, the integral city, as the human hive, like a beehive, but a hive for humans. And it appears that these roles are in all resilient systems. And that is how the bees actually manage to source the flower, nectar, and pollen. So the conformity enforcers are really the majority of people. So we think about the word usually conformity as doing what everybody else does. And sometimes we don't really honor that. But doing what needs to be done is really about conformity enforcement for life. So actually being able to think about what is it that our family needs? What is it that I need to do to express myself? What is it that my profession needs for me to practice in a, a thorough and professional way? What is it that we need to do to get the best results around here? How can we actually include and support other people? How can we think in systemic ways? In those respects, we can actually think about those are all ways to, to support conformity. But if we are always doing the same thing, the old saw is if we always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got. That's the job of conformity enforcers. But in turbulent times, we actually need to know how to innovate how to create and how to do things differently because turbulence means that things are changing all around us. And so we always need to allocate some of our energy and some of our wisdom to thinking about and doing and practicing difference. And that means finding in ourselves our creative spark. I think about it as the source of our passion and really following that calling that makes us a unique spirit in the world. When we think about how to do resource allocation, it's really about managing our energy. You know, in terms of emotional intelligence, we could say it's about self-management, but we could also then expand from self to others to the world, which is really, again, how I think about the role of the inner judge or the integrator in regards to the city we need to actually be able to manage ourselves. We need to be able to take care of each other and to take care of this place. So take caring, taking care of ourselves, taking care of each other, and taking care of this place is a way to bring all of these four archetypes together in an integrated way. These days I'm actually practicing in three zones. One is here, close to me, in my region. The second is near, sort of out there in 
many ways in the English-speaking world and a little bit further away. And then there is the zone of far, and that tends to be places where English is not spoken. And the reason I'm using English is because that's my first language. And so one tends to think about being able to be effective in a sphere of influence that one can speak to, that one can make meaning with. But I have found that I'm being not only tapped to understand how my own city has responded to a referendum just last week around how to source a private public way of operating water, and the referendum was defeated by 75 percent. Whoa, that's, that's a real um, message that the city has to try to understand. Why do people not want to vote for something like that? Why is water so precious to them that they don't want to change from a public management of it? That's an example of a here issue that I can think about. Well, the city tried to create a diversity way of doing this, but people are so locked into the conformity enforcement way of managing water, they don't want to change. And they need to be engaged in understanding what other options are. When I think about my near connections, then I have colleagues who are working a little bit further away in other parts of Canada, and they're actually drawing on what I call the voices of the city, the voices that are the citizens and the civic managers and the civil society and the developers. So they bring in all of those four ways of being in the city, conformity enforcement, diversity generation, the resource allocators and the inner judges. And then far from me is places that are contacting me like Russia, like China, like Mexico, like South Africa, all of which have happened in the last couple of weeks because they all of a sudden can see this new way of looking at the city as a living system gives them ways to solve problems like how do you respond to terrorism in Oslo? How do you respond to the drug culture in Mexico? How do you create new conditions for all the peoples living together in South Africa? How do you create a whole new way of thinking about the city in a country as vast as Russia? So all of those are indications to me that turbulent times are everywhere in the world, right under our noses, right beside us with our friends, and further away. And this is like a pattern in the world, though, that people are waking up to see there are new ways that we can think about human systems. We can think about them like a hive that has some principles and archetypes, if you will, that enable life to be aligned in a way so that we can live as though we plan on staying. <laughs>